fire away. Good morning. It is Wednesday. Today we are doing upper body and we're gonna have a very good time doing it. Today you'll need um, some lighter weights, some moderate weights, if you have options that is. Um, and then you're also gonna need a towel or a scarf or a t-shirt or something that you can use to pull. Um, we'll get into that later. That's not what we're using for the strength of, we're using that for strength, not for the warm up today. So for the warm up, we have four movements that we're going to be doing today. We will be doing them three times through. We're going to try and get through everything in about seven minutes. So it shouldn't take too long. We'll just get straight in. The first thing we're starting off with today are halos. So I'm going to do most of these on my knees today, just so that you can see very nicely in the viewer, but you're welcome to do these standing or sitting. So the first thing we're going to do is take one weight, we're going to hold our hands on either side. For a halo, we're trying to draw the weight around our head like so, like a halo. So we are going to start off with six reps of that. If you've got small weights and you need something a bit more challenging, what you can do is push those weights together and still do the same thing. We'll focus on keeping our shoulders down today. Then we are going to be moving into lunge and twist. So you can do this with or without weight. I'm going to start without weight and add as I go. So we're going to start with our arms up, take a nice big step forward, twisting our body over that front leg, coming back. We are going to do seven of these. That's seven on each side. Then we'll be doing eight bicep curls. So taking any set of weights with our palms facing up, we're going to come up to our shoulders, and back down, we want to do eight total. So we'll take our time, just like so. And then the last thing we're doing is Russian twist. So coming onto the floor, holding a weight, we are going to tap side to side. So balancing up on your butt, chest is up, and we're tapping side to side. I'm not going to tap just because it makes the whole room shake, but you certainly can. So I've just got a late comer into my room here. Let's get that organized. Let's see my participants. Uh oh, they disappeared. They'll be back. They always come back. So we'll be prepared for that. But in that instance, we better get going so that we can be ready for interruptions. Is everybody ready to rock and roll? Mm, mm, mm. Cool, let's do it. We're gonna be starting in. Are you ready? Ready, set? Let's get it, grab those weights. We start our halos in three, two, and one. Let's do it. So, coming around your head, starting right in front of your chest, pull your shoulders back and down. Draw a big circle around your beautiful face. And come back around. Good. So we really feel our chest opening up here. That weight should feel very in control. Once you've done six, we're into our lunge and twist. So we're going to come up on our feet. We're doing seven of these on each side. So lunging forward, twist, back, return. Step, twist, like so. Whew. If you did yesterday's workout, the legs might feel a little bit sluggish this morning. That's all right. We're bringing it back to you. Keep those shoulders back and down for me. Posture nice and long. Woohoo! Twisting through your core, through your torso. Nice. Now you don't need to use the weights for this, of course. So just making sure that everything is moving nicely. Good. Once you've done seven on each side, we move on to bicep curls. Again, you can do this standing, kneeling, or sitting. I'm going to do this kneeling. So palms to the ceiling. We are doing eight total. So coming up and slow on the way back down. Good. Arms are going to get a nice spark out today. So let's make sure we're ready to use them. Whew. Five. Lovely. 
Going for eight. Awesome. Then we're into our rushing twists. The balancing up high. Going twist backwards and forwards. We want to do nine on each side. The twist through your core again. Really getting the obliques going here this morning, girls. That's what we want. And like so. Once you finish those, back up on your feet. We start with halos again. Awesome. Laura, you're getting warm. Let's turn that fan on. Let's bring it back to the top. So halos it is. Good. Six total. Don't be in a rush. We want to keep the control over everything. Woo. Good morning. Awesome. Once you've done six of those, we are going to move into our lunge and twist. In the name of time, we're just going to do 10 total. So five on each side, big step forward, twist, return. Nice. So pulling ourselves upright here, really trying to have a nice, long, neutral spine. By neutral, we don't mean relaxed. We simply mean nice and long with no major bends. Good job. Love your work. When you have done 10 total, we'll move into bicep curls. Good. We'll try something a little heavier, see if that's what I've got in me this morning. Here we go. Eight of these. Good. With control, keep the elbows locked in place. We're not trying to raise them up at the top. So keep them down pinned by your ribs. Good. And then Russian twist. Still going for nine on each side because these are pretty quick. Good. Try to keep the feet as immobile as you can. So rather than letting them swing around, try to keep them in one place in space. Good. When you are done, we'll do one more round. We're back on our feet. Woohoo! Warming up. There's one way to stay warm on these cold mornings. All right, how fun to do. So we are back to the top with our halos. Coming through. Six turns total, slow it right down. Lots of control. We're not arching our back. Just brushing past the ponytail. Ooh, lovely. Good. When you're done there, lunge and twist. Remember, it's 10 total. So you're going to lunge, twist over the front leg, not into the dead space. We're keeping our back knee off the floor for extra instability. Nice. Shoulders down, pulling down your back. Good. Very nice. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Gosh, you look good doing that. All right, then we have eight bicep curls. Nice. Just keep rolling through at your pace. Don't be in a rush. We're here to get that warm up. Feel ready for a big upper body day. Woo -hoo. You're getting it done. We're up, we're down. We're moving all around. I believe you should be coming on. But the one thing 
Let's stay steady throughout this. Is your shoulders staying down, away from your ears, braced, but not like scrunched together. We're not pulling them back like this. Woo, opening our chest. Good. You got it. Yeah. And when you're done, come on up. And when my ladies are home already, we'll move on. All right. Good job. Oh, that feels good. Okay. Looks like we're ready to rock and roll here. So, for our workout today, we have seven movements. We're going to do everything. 10 to 12 times. So there's no specialty timing today. We're always going to move with control and with grace. And we'll try and move all together. So seven movements. Each thing is done 10 to 12 times. And we're going for three total rounds. So let me demonstrate those seven movements for you today. And then we'll move on. So the first two movements, you are going to need your towel, cloth, Dish rag, whatever you're using, I'm using a t-shirt. So for this first movement today, we're gonna to do this from kneeling. We are doing a lat pull down. So your lats are the muscles down here in the side and back of your body, underneath your shoulder blades. You can think about these like strings that pull your shoulder blades down your back. We love working on these here. Really great way to fix your posture. When we do a lat pull down, we are trying to pull our lats down our back. We do this by taking our towel, cloth, etc. We just pull it apart with lots of tension, and we're going to pull our elbows back and down. So again, we want to pull this behind our head. This is going to help us to open our chest and make sure we're actually using our lats. And from here, we're just trying to brush the ponytail again, come back up. So I really should be feeling enough pull that it's like jittering and we're really pulling those tiny little muscles in our shoulders and lats as well as the lats, sorry, to be able to pull it down. Exactly, just like that. So don't arch your back. We're not trying to create space by arching. Keeping that nice core and pulling down and through, isolating the lats. Then for our next movement, we are going to come into a V-sit hold. So again, resting on our hips. And we are going to do another pulling motion with our towel, but this time we're gonna to pull to our chest. So balancing here, we're going to start with our arms out in front and we are pulling apart up to our chest. So almost like we're rowing, good. But keeping those arms as far away from each other. So the motion with your arms is this. Like we're holding a row, just like so. So holding that balance there so that we don't tip over. Lots of work for your core to stabilize, but no more twisting like we did in the warm up. Those are the only two movements you need your towel for today. Everything else will be with dumbbells. I'm gonna demonstrate with my light ones, but we'll see if we can move on. So the next movement we'll be doing is a front raise to fly. So for this motion, we're gonna have our Palms facing down. We're going to raise in front. We're going to open, close, and lower. So up, out, down, and lower. So start with light weights and build up if you can to that movement. Five pounds might be all that you need as this is this movement here where we squeeze our shoulder blades together. It can be a little tiring over time. Movement number four is going to be a standing row. Again, I'm going to do this for kneeling, but I want you to stand. So we are going to, with both hands, with weights in each, drive our elbows up high and raise those weights in front. So a great way to kind of figure out if you're doing the right thing for this movement is think about if you are holding a bar. You're trying to pull your bar up to your chin and then back down. So keep your weights nice and close together. Pulling them towards your chins. Elbow is all the way up. I say chins. Nobody has chins. 
Just one chin, Brianna. <laughs> we work hard, we only have one. Okay, then we will move on to hammer curls. So taking your dumbbell, a hammer curl has your thumbs up to the ceiling. We're going to pin our elbows beside us and we're coming up like so, moving through the full range of motion. So, hitting the biceps at a different angle than our bicep curls do. Very important that we don't raise our elbows up. That means we're gonna start using more momentum than anything. So lock the elbows in place and isolate through here. We've only got one more movement and that is split stance push-ups or alternating stance push-ups. So we've done these plenty of times here before. You know what they're all about. We're going to change the position of our hands each time. So one time, sorry, we'll start with one hand low, one hand high. We'll push up here, then we'll switch hands, push low and high. We need to do 10 to 12 total for this one. So it'll be six on each side. And as always, I'm gonna encourage you to try these push-ups from your toes, dropping to on your knees as you need to. So hands over the different placement, push up once. Then we switch, push up twice. If I can drill anything into this today, is that I really, really, really want you to focus on pulling your shoulders back and keeping a neutral spine. A lot of the work we're doing is isolating different parts of our upper body through here, but we never should be pulling our shoulders, squeezing them together or pulling our shoulders up towards our ears unless we expressly say so. So this is, there's no shrugging today. We're not even doing bent over rows. So your shoulder blades are gonna stay pretty far away from each other. We're gonna make sure the posture is nice. We're gonna isolate everything. It's all gonna be happening. It can all happen with our shoulders back. And that's gonna be our main thing to practice today. Fantastic for your posture. You're gonna look beautiful in photos. Really gonna feel like big proud chest moments happening here. It's gonna be good. So. I know not all ladies like training upper body because it can kind of feel like a little bit too masculine for some, but having a nice strong upper body is very complementary to having a strong total body. It's a very important part of the entire package. All right, enough chat for me. I hope you've got plenty of weights available from there. You're gonna start off with your towel. It's gonna take about 10 minutes to get through each round. We've got three rounds to do. Let's get into it. All right, let's get those towels. We're starting with our lat pull down in three, two, and one. We're doing 10 to 12 reps, so let's go together. Pull the chest open, pull the lats down the back, push back up. So nice and slow on the way down and push, good. It's nice, ladies, making sure we're not arching our back. Just brushing the ponytail. We still want that towel nice and close to us. We're not trying to be back here, although that might be a nice stretch to begin with. It's gonna be very tiring. Pull your hands away from each other. Woo. Good. Keep it up. So whenever we have a rep range available, so we say 10 to 12, we have to do at least 10. But we're gonna go for 12 if we can. So if you're feeling good at 10, there's still a couple more reps in the tank. You just keep going until you hit 12. Now I'm pretty terrible at counting, so I wanna encourage you to count for yourself today. Good job. Woo. Good, once we've done all 12, or as many as you can do, we move into our V hold chest pull. So coming into our V sit stance, it to look like this. We're gonna have our hands in front and we're rowing through. So once we're all on the floor, let's grab it and go. So pulling into our chest, still pulling our hands away from each other, punching to come back out, slow and controlled. Think about pulling those shoulders back now. Whew. Good, this is a big chest motion. We're feeling it in here. But think about squeezing the shoulder blades together to help make space for all of that. Stable through the core, chest up proud, chin shouldn't be tucked or high 
Again, nice neutral position so that the neck is just an extension of your nice strong spine. Woo! Keep it up. So pushing out in front of your shoulders. Beautiful. Then we move on for our front raise to fly. So grabbing your weight, how can go down now? Gonna go for 10 to 12. So lighter weights to begin with. Shoulders back, here we go. We're going to raise in front, open, close, and down. So little pauses at the end of each movement. Good. Pull those shoulders back, open them up, Woo. and down. Good. Nice job. Body is stable, we're not rocking around. I think I'll be lucky to get 10 of these. Woo. As many as you can do, it's your workout, listen to your body. Make sure you're not pushing yourself into a danger place, but trying to hurt ourselves. Nice. Awesome. When you're done, we're moving into our standing row. I'm going to try this standing. I don't think I'll disappear out of the screen. When you're ready, let's all go together. Three, two, and one. So pulling up, elbows high, and back down. Good. So nice and quick on the way up, controlled on the return. Good. We try not to just drop when we come back down, but move with control so that we can get some work in both directions. So it's not just about the pull. We're keeping all that control. We know how to work. The 10 to 12 total. Keep the core nice and strong. Beautiful, powerful stance. We're not rocking around. Awesome. Then we're moving into our hammer curl. So we can stay standing here. You're welcome to sit or kneel. And we'll start those all together in three, two, one. Glue the elbows in place. Bring the weight up to your shoulders. Good. Whew. We're getting strong. Pull those shoulders open. Lots of squeeze, stabilizing the shoulder where it is. Good. Core should be strong. We want to make sure we isolate the biceps. If we're just chilling out here. We're going to end up getting a little bit more momentum than we'd like to today. Nice. Of course, making sure that we move with control. Move yourself in the shoulder with your weight. And when you've done 12, we'll get ready. Oh, I missed a movement. I knew I was missing something. Thank you. Okay, we are going to do a tricep overhead extension. So let me demonstrate and then we'll do it. So for this movement, you're holding one or two weights. Yes, I knew I'd have to get down to one of these. So we are going to lock our elbows in place, bring the weights down as low as we can, and then press up overhead. So one or two weights. If you're using one, you're going to make a little star or diamond stance with your hands. And put the weights like so. The so same thing, dropping down as low as you can. We want to keep our elbows tight into our head. So not ending up out here. Keep them close to help with our isolation. Good job. Again, going for 10 to 12. Good. I'm sorry, ladies. I knew I forgot something. It seems like we got through that way too quick. Good job. Keep it up. Good. 
Awesome. And then last of all will be our split stance push-ups. Again, if you're finding that these are a little impossible, try doing this on a countertop so that you're not quite so low on the floor. So everybody else, let's get down on the ground. We'll go together, remember, one hand low, one hand high, coming down as low as you can. We're going for 10 to 12 total. And let's do it. Switch the hands every time. Good. Open the chest. Nice. We're getting our work in today. Keep the core strong. We want a nice plank position. So we're not arching, not pushing our hips into the air. Try not to drop your head. We don't want to be down here, head hugging the floor. Good. Woohoo! All right, we're gonna take one minute rest. We're gonna come back to the top. That's everything one time through. We got two more to go. Well done, ladies. Are we feeling that? Feeling warm? Okay, good. Awesome sauce. So, oh. So about 30 seconds here till we go again. I want to take lots of breaks in between here just to make sure we give it some rest. Is it here, 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 all through our chest, our lats, and all of the tiny muscles between our shoulder blades and our spine. So let's get ready to do it all again. We start with our lat pull downs with our towel. We're going to do that together. We'll start in three. Two and one, let's go. So towels up above your head, pulling your hands apart, punching to come up. So nice and slow. Whew. Lovely. If you want some extra challenge today, and I don't suppose that you do, but the way you can really ante up this movement is by lying on the floor and doing it here. Whew. I'm not doing that today, but if you're not feeling enough challenge, you want to make this harder, you be my guest. Good job. Woohoo. Beautiful. Keep that count going. Pull those elbows down and tight. Good. Lovely work. When you have done. All of our lap pull downs. We're gonna come into our V sit hold. And we are going to do our chest press. So remember, we don't want our hands out up above us. We don't want them directly in front of us. They are going to move in line with our body like we are rowing. So let's go. So again, shoulders back, pull the elbows through and push. Really stable through the core, trying not to like pull ourselves up as we do this. Woo. You got it, girls. So you want your hands just outside your chest at the bottom. Nothing too wide or too narrow. We shouldn't be hitting ourselves as we pull down with our hands. Bring it to the towel touches you. Woo. Nice. Like a reverse bench press. Good. Feel that core. Nice. Good. Okay. Moving through. Front raise into fly. Grabbing whatever weight you're using. Let's do it together. Three, two, one. So raise, open, close, and down. Good. Raise. Open, close, down. Nice. Little bend in the arms, if you will. You don't have to be perfectly straight, but nothing to, we're not changing. It's not gonna come out and then bend. So we'll come up, move through, like so. Good. Up, open, close, and down. Good. 
You got it. Oh, come on, Brianna. This is tough. I got it. We're doing it. Nice. Then we're going to move into our standing row. So keeping those weights. This is where you might be able to go heavier. One of our options. Let's do this together. Three, two, one. So bringing the weights up to our chin. Elbows nice and high. Slow and controlled on the way down. Good. Good, good, good. Woo. Keep those shoulders down. Think about pulling them down into the back pockets of your jeans. Not letting your shoulders get anywhere near your ears. Looks good, girls. Up nice and high, as high as you can without hitting yourself in the face. Get the elbows even higher. Good. And then we are into our hammer rows. Ready? Three, two, and one. So pulling them up to our shoulders and back down. Palms are facing in towards the body. Or think about having your thumbs up to the ceiling. Good. Lovely. Keep it up. Again, we're definitely not rocking, keeping ourselves very still, isolating, like so. Good, good. Woo. Beautiful. Next is our tricep. Overhead press. So one weight or two. We're going for 10 to 12 again. Starting with those weights up above our head. I'm going to do mine from standing. I think you can see me here. Let's give it a go. So dropping down and press. Try to keep the elbows locked in one place. Don't let them move around. Your triceps are responsible for bending and extending your elbow. So, let's keep that elbow moving. What you doing? Oh, sorry. <laughs> keep it up, girls. Here we go. Want to feel it through the back of the upper arm. Going for 12. Woo! You can do it. Nicely done. Good. Our last movement today is our split stance push ups. So, making sure you've got your knees on something soft if you're putting your knees down. Let's go for it. So, we're moving through super quickly. Hope you're keeping up at home. Remember, one hand low, one hand high. Do your push up, then switch. Let's do it. Come on. Get as low to the floor as you can with your chest. Woo Don't let your shoulder blades squeeze together here. We are looking at the floor, but we are not dropping our head. And switch. Good job. The only way to get better at push-ups is to practice them. When you notice your form going, switch it up. You got this. Plenty of time. Woo! Super good. Lovely work. We're gonna take one minute of rest and then we'll do our final round. This is a pretty cooked upper body day for you girls. So I hope at this point you're starting to feel pretty fatigued as we head into this last round. We should, this is definitely the time where we're getting closer to our lower end of the range. Whereas before 12 might have felt easy, 10 might feel a little almost impossible. 
when we're getting tired, the important thing to remember is if we can't keep our form, then we can't keep going. If you get to eight reps, you're doing this one and suddenly the shoulders want to roll forward, and we can't get them back, then that's our sign that it's time to stop. It's okay to max out on things. We don't want to push any further than that. We want to get close to exhaustion, but we don't want to kill ourselves. We got to make sure we can still function for the rest of the day, and especially for the next two days as well. Okay. So let's do this last round. It sure is time. You should be sweating. I know I am. Let's do our lat pull down. So towels up. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Let's move. So pulling it down behind your head, chest out. We shouldn't be sticking our chin out to make space. We can keep ourselves long and strong. Good. Ladies at home are absolutely smashing it as always, pulling it as far down your back as you can, keeping those elbows, pulling it in tight to the body as we come down. I'm just gonna keep going until you ladies at home stop because I've definitely lost count. <laughs> keep it up. Woo! Good. That feels about right. Woo, woo, woo. Let's get down. We're in our V-sit hold. And we're going for 12 chest pulls. Remember, making sure that we keep the torso as upright as possible. Nice and long. Feet off the floor if you can. Let's pull. Pull it apart. Punch it back. Lots of power to generate here. If the balance is becoming a little difficult, you can always put the heels just on the ground for stability. Woo! Really focus on opening the chest. Pull those elbows through. Good work. Neutral neck. You got it, girls. Keep those back straight for me. Chest proud. Elbows pull through. Good. Count it out. Nice. Front raise to fly. Brianna's struggle movement today. <laughs> Especially hard for me today. I hope you're enjoying the struggle too. Let's do it. So three, two, and one. Let's come up, open, together, and down. Open, together, and down. We're just opening up until we're out in line with our shoulders. We're not trying to get behind our back. We do enough of that with other movements. Woo! Together and down. Nice. Woo! Girls, let's get it. If you're feeling this in your neck, make sure you're pulling everything back and down. We don't want to be holding tension up through here. Raise, open, Together and down. This is hard without weights now. These muscles are getting tired. Good. Once you've done your 10 to 12, we'll finish and move on. Good job, girls. Okay. Our next movement is the standing row. More than anything, think about driving the elbows high at the top of this movement. We do not want elbows in line with our hands, we want them up here towards our ears. So think about pulling the elbow, if nothing else. Here we go. Three, two, and one. So elbows up and down. Higher with those elbows. Let's go. How high do they go? Yeah, there you go. So we'll have an angle. There it is. Woo! And a little sweaty. Let's do it. Check in every time. Have a look at where those elbows are finishing. Are they up in line with your ears or your eyes? Woo, you got it. Go for 12. Big pull. Pull, pull, pull. Good. Nicely done. 
Good job. All right. Time to call the next. Let's get into it. I'm going to stand up so I'm a little less stable. Let's pull the shoulders back. Thumbs are up. Here we go. Big pull. Up and down. And up. Control down. Good. Big old hammers. You got it. Think about what's happening in your shoulders. Are they nice and stable? They shouldn't be moving around. Feel this through the bicep to the front of your upper arm. Good. I am so sweaty my glasses are sliding down my face. Awful. You got it. Woo! We don't need big weights to get a sweat on. We know how to do it at home. Good job. Okay, we've got just two movements left. Let's move on, shall we? So, tricep extensions are coming up. We're gonna do this from standing, kneeling, or sitting. Everything starts up above our head. Let's do it. Glue those elbows in place. Good, slow and control on the way down. Punch to come back up. Woo! Triceps looking strong. They're a pretty small little group of muscles, so they do not lift a ton of weight. We're never going to be doing like 100 pounders on these puppies. But with some exercise, they can look very nice and toned. Really can be quite an elegant strength muscle. Elegant, what am I talking about? You look very feminine, have nice strong triceps is what I'm trying to say. Let's push for 12 if we can. We're so close to the end here. Don't give up now. Good. Last movement is that split stance push up. All right, let's get down there. Let's try and do them all from our toes if you've got a drop, even if it's just after one. Let's give it a show. All right, here we go. Switching every time. Good. Three. Four. Five. Seven, eight, keep it up girls, come on. Don't let the hands get too narrow. Woo! And that's an upper body workout for you. Oh, right in the eyes. Now we're really talking. Well done ladies. So, we've got about 15 minutes left, which is perfect. So, we are going to be doing, for conditioning today, we're going to be doing a building rep scheme and then descending. So, a pyramid. We need to, woohoo. So, we're going to do three reps, then six, then nine, then 12, then 15. So, adding three. We build up from three to 15, and we'll come back down that pyramid, up down the other side. 15, 12, 9, 6, 3. Yes, I forgot how to count by threes. I had to look at my book. Three movements we're doing today a front squat, push press, and cross outs. So, for your front squat, taking your weights, pulling them up on the front of your chest. You're going to come down low. Two and three. From here, we'll be doing push press. So just a little bend in the legs, pushing up above our head. Three. This should feel like the hardest one after that upper body workout. Then we will be doing cossacks. It is three total, not three per side, okay? So you can keep your weights here. You can have them down low. You can put your weights down. I'm gonna put mine up front. Good, like so. So for your cross-up, drive the knees forward and the hip back. 
looking at it from the side here, like so. Back stays straight throughout, really driving through the whole foot of that bent leg. Make sure both heels are always on the floor. Three, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 12, nine, six, and three. I'm gonna put a 13 minute time cap on. So, if it takes me longer than that, you'll be saved by the bell. But I think we'll be fine, we'll get through it. Okay, I'm gonna start heavy. I'll see if I can keep it up. No promises today though. We're just gonna do our best. That's what it's always about. This workout is for you. Make sure it's tailored to you. If you need to change up any of the movements, make sure you're not going to pull an injury, not going to make something that niggles get worse, or just to make sure that you can function for the other things that you need to do today. I trust you. You've come this far. You know how to push yourself. Make sure you push yourself, but not into a bad place. There's good struggle and there's bad struggle, and we're here for a good old-fashioned struggle. So, I'm going to grab my timer. You are going to grab... All of that stamina, all of that excitement and joy that you wanted to bring into this today, we're going to do front squat, push press, cross axe. We're starting that in three, two, and one. Let's go. 13 minutes to get it done. So, three squats, three push press, three cross axe. Two and three, and then we come back. Now we're doing six, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Sorry, I hope my counting's not throwing yours off. Keep it up. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Good. This climbs pretty quickly. Let's keep going. So you take breaks where you need them. This is for you. Gosh, you guys are so fit. One, two, three. Oh, my arms. They're so tired. I'm going to put one of these weights down for my Cossacks. My shoulders are feeling it. Get as low as you can in those Cossacks. Come all the way up in between. Good. Okay, moving steadily. I'm gonna have this done in no time. So for your front squats, remember weight always needs to be up at your chest. Now we're into the 12. If you do four and then you take a break, awesome. Make sure you pick up where you left off. Eleven and twelve for me. Then it's into those push press. Woo. Can you hear that little rattle in my dumbbell? That's terrifying. Huh. Not very exciting for me. That's all right. Let's keep it going. Getting low, ladies. Get down there. How low can you go? Woo! All right. 
Coming to the top of our pyramid. We are fully three and a half minutes in. Killing it. Use your breath. Exhale on the way up. Remember it's 15 now. Good. And into your contact. Make sure you're not twisting. Keep the hips facing forward. Big bend, push out of the whole foot. Maybe a little bit more from the back. And as soon as you have finished all 15, now we get to come back down. Really gets easier now. Back to 12. Let's do it. Front squats. Push those knees away from each other. Drive the knees ahead. Five and a half minutes in. Good job. You're doing so good. Get it. Oh, you're so damn good. We're just coming up on halfway for time. I hope you're rolling through nice and steady. You look good, girls. Keep those knees away from each other. No caving in towards the midline. Keep it up. Punching directly up. Don't let the weights push out. Okay. How's that? Six minutes left. We're eight minutes in. No. Seven minutes. What a time. Come all the way up with those Cossacks, please. Good. Then it's six, then it's three, then we're done. Rip it out, let's go. Two, three, four, woo. It's all downhill from here, pretty much. Yes, three round. Here it is. One, two, three. Now, if you're not racing along, that's okay. You still got five minutes left. Yeah. Cool beans. Keep it up. It's counting down. You got it, girls. Beautiful. Yeah. Nice.
Nice work, homies. Woohoo! Good job. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Sarah. See you then. Great job, Linda, today. Looking good out there. Hope the chest is feeling good. That really was quite a lot for us all to get through. <laughs> I'm literally dripping, guys. That's how we do it. At Maverick, we are strong girls. We got this. There's still tons of time on this timer. I want you to keep going until you're finished. Remember, three, six, nine, 12, 15. And then we come down, 12, nine, six, three. Gotta do it all. Gotta get it done. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Woohoo! Bye!